These two look awfully similar. Huh. Must be twins! I wouldn't doubt twins being common across the universe. Or triplets. Or quadruplets. Or quintiplets. And whatever number plus lit thing out there. Come on. It's an entire galaxy out there. Hmm. Hello. Ew. I don't like haircuts like this. <laughs> I just don't think they fit on, like, anyone. Not even guys. Guys, if you're a guy and you have hair like that, well, I especially smack the shit out of you because that one's kind of girly, obviously. Ooh. Hello, shuttle. Huh. I wonder what this guy did. Oh, shit! That guy must be related to the other people. They must be discussing on how they're gonna break him out. Oh, I've discovered a conspiracy. Oh. That is interesting. Let me go do some stuff real quick, though. Gotta pick up some missions around here. Hopefully I can pick up that one mission from uh, the guy who's like, Oh, there's people being killed. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Sweet. Ooh, what is this? Cybertech. Okay. Level 22 ship? That's interesting. I don't know if I want... 50 missiles? Oh my god. Um, I'm gonna put that in a bank. The bank that's up there. What is convenient? Hi! Wang writes in. Seven brutal bloody murders. Seven. Seven. The killer is allowed to. Walk That's a lot. Free. Decent, law-abiding citizens, loyal servants of the emperor, are being slaughtered. And what do our security forces do? Nothing. I've seen the killer myself, but the authorities say I don't have enough proof. I demand justice. What makes you think I care? That's not what no, I wanted I, to say. I'm not fit to confront such an individual, but someone has to. Several days ago, I spotted a bounty hunter following people <laughs> seemingly at random, but pointing a strange device at them. The descriptions of the murder victims exactly match the people the hunter was following. He's behind these brutal killings, I know it! Lots of bounty hunters kill for a living. Me, for instance. There's nothing professional about these murders. They're sickening, depraved even. I followed the killer this morning. Saw the filthy alien skulking into the Mandalorian enclave. Someone called him by name, Redigan. This bounty hunter must learn the Empire doesn't tolerate alien scum like him killing its citizens. He needs to be punished. Huh. What is your job? You have too much free time. You fall you stalked a bounty hunter all the way to the Mandalorian Enclave Enclave and remembered his precise name. You're lucky I'm going neutral, otherwise I'd kill you again. I'm pretty sure mostly everybody that plays on the Sith side does it. Because, why not? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello there, Chiss guy, aka blue human, or blue skinned human with red eyes. I have a gambling chip for you. And I have a package for you. Do not open it. Better if you don't even look at it. There is an NK line droid. I'll show you where to find it. The package goes there. Long live the Emperor. Mm, yes, this is interesting and stuff. Long live the Emperor. Mm, yes. Now, to deliver my own package to myself by dropping this off in the box. Also, don't you think it's cute? Look at, that. Look, look at me and her. I have blue armor, she has. I have blue and white armor, she has. Red and white armor. Nice little contrast. I like that. Just something small. Uh, she's probably going to have that armor on for like a very long period of time though. Because there's really not all that much that's like good. You don't really pick up a lot of good loot for your, your uh, companion. 
at least as I've seen so far. It's just kind of like, oh, well, this mission gives me a boot specifically for her Mako. I guess she's gonna wear it. And it's usually better than what she has on before because that she's just gonna have that on for like a long period of time. Yeah. Oh my god, you can't be. <laughs> I don't know who those guys are. But I'm sure, like, there's hundreds of them all across the galaxy with somewhat rhyming names. That's what I'd do. It'd be like, Tom, um, Bomb, Fom, Calm. No, that wouldn't work. Damn. It'd have to have some kind of sequence, right? Like, you can't have a shitload of kids. If I had twins, I'd have their names rhyme. I know I'm a, probably, like, a dick for that. I know a lot of people do this, but it just... If you're gonna look the fucking same, you might as well have similar names. Now, I'd never do something as stupid as naming them the same thing. I'd never have, like, two twins and say something like, uh... Two Jimmies. Like, Jimmy and Jimmy, come over here. And they'd be like, sup, Dad? Alright, Jimmy, I need you to do this while Jimmy go does that. And they look like each other and go, what do you think, Jimmy? I don't know, Jimmy. It, just, it wouldn't work. I have a package for you. For me? How wonderful. And I, in turn, have something for you to show appreciation. If we have not caught the Republic's attention with this sequence, they simply aren't paying attention. Empire forever. Empire forever. Okay, robot. So, yeah. I mean, if I ever had twins. Um, if I ever had a kid, period. But if I ever had twins, that'd be interesting. Especially if they're the, if they, if they are the ones that look like, because there are there are twins. I don't remember the names for them. I'm half tempted to say fraternal, but that might be the ones that look like. Google time, just real quick. Fraternal twins. Okay. Alright, so I was right. Fraternal Twins is the ones that, uh, they aren't the same. I think they're just born at the same time. So, yeah. If you have the ones that are the opposite of Fraternal, the ones that look the same, gotta have matching names. Or not matching names, uh, a similar theme for each other. Because... Themes are cool. I like themes. I think all humans pretty much like themes. Rhyming, alliteration, just fucking little structures in life. It's cool. That's right, so where we're going. We're going to the left, actually. Oh, uh, we gotta go to the middle, too, to talk to that Sith son of a... Damn it. Oh, well. I love how this building is, like, perfectly segmented three ways. You have the two, you have the two Sith guys going to the middle. The bounty hunters go on the left, or do we? Do we go on the left? Yeah, we do. All right, so the bounty hunters go over here, the Imperial agent goes over here, and the Sith, both Sith classes go over here. That's just, that's interesting to me because it's an interesting way to structure it. So, hey, what's up, bounty hunter Renegade? I've got a shuttle to catch. Do you mind getting out of my way? Uh, actually I do. You've been a bad boy, Renegan. Murdering innocent citizens. No, hold on. I never killed anybody who didn't have it coming. You've been listening to Wrightson. Great. <laughs> he even knows. I didn't murder anybody. I was just hired to tag some random citizens, that's all. You admit you're mixed up in these brutal murders, then? No! I never touched any of those victims. My clients did all the killings. I was hired by a group of Sith to organize games for them didn't realize what that meant until bodies started piling up. When I confronted them, they laughed. Said Sith have a birthright to hunt lowlifes. It's like a sport to them. That's not gonna go well. Sooner or later, there'll be a witness to one of these killings. I don't want to be around when that happens. I'm in over my head, and too many people are watching me now. So I can't even leave. I need help, and I'm willing to pay for it. You interested? Of course. I like money. Tell me what I can do for you. I just want this problem to go away. 
And I only see two ways for that to happen. Either get rid of the loudmouth pointing fingers at me, or end that sick game the Sith are playing. I'll deal with the Sith. Fuck their day up. Let me just click on something. Alright. I think your clients need to find a new hobby. Works for me. I'll have a plan that'll get them so good, no one will have to worry about Fallout. Can get I fight some? Tag. Use it on Sith acolytes all around the city. The acolytes will become my clients' new targets. Don't worry. I'll make sure they survive. Come back when you're done, and I'll pay you. Um... That sounds like a lot of work. But okay. I was hoping I'd get to kill some Sith! I mean, come on, I'm a bounty hunter. I should be able to fight some. I wouldn't doubt, like, soon enough I'd be an official Mandalorian myself, actually. Oh well. Let's see, the most recent architectural addition to the Citadel? Oh, so we weren't even built at the same time. Hmm. Okay. That's cool. We actually didn't even read these. Wow. These are cool little tidbits to read when you're, you know, playing by yourself and shit like that. Oh, hi! Joe Yoink, yoink, and yoink. Yomi topi. Opi topi. Electro dart. Uh, just do this. So now we have an explosive dart and an electro dart. Awesome. What the? <laughs> and then Ooh. I told him, you think that's cold? You should see what I did to the Gamorrean. I never saw a Rodian run so fast in my... Whoa. Hello, handsome. You here to sweep me off my feet? We are here for the Great Hunt. We've been sponsored by Nemro the Hut. Oh, what's this? Got yourself a pet? Little sister, maybe? It's not enough to hold a real man's interest, anyway. Uh... No. Mako's the only person in the galaxy who matters to wow, me. Wow, that was extremely yeah. sappy. Huh. Your loss. You probably ain't gonna like what I'm about to tell you. But there's nothing I can do about it, understand? Okay, bye, cool-looking guy. There's one spot left open in the Great Hunt. And over three dozen hunters who got sponsorships. Too bad for them. Those other hunters can go home. That spot is mine. It's yours if you can get it. Lots of folks will be thinking the same thing, though. The Huntmaster himself will explain how we're going to sort things out. Head into the main room and show some respect. When the Huntmaster's done talking, come on back in here. I'll be handling you from here on out. I'm not sure if I appreciate the sounds of that. But damn, Mako responded to that interesting. Like, I didn't mean for it to be sappy. I just wanted to say, uh, no, I've got one chick. That's enough for me. Wait, is the headmaster or... No, it's that guy. Okay. About to say a Wookiee as the headmaster. Quiet, you dogs! The Huntmaster is about to speak. Pay attention and show some Shit, it is the Wookiee! In your lives. <laughs> you heard the Huntmaster. You're competing for the last spot in the Great Hunt. By taking down three bounties on Droman Kass. You expect us to hunt here with Imperials crawling all over us and Sith? Let the man talk. I want to hear this. For all you overblown, useless, no talent cowards, we installed a handy exit door. Use it now. Okay, Steve Bloom. There they fucking left. <laughs> real hunters, go see your handlers. They'll get you oriented to the planet and assign you three unique bounties. Everyone who takes down all three of their bounties wins a spot in the final melee. Anyone who doesn't get all three is out. Hunting on Drummond Koss? That's suicide. Shut up, cute call. I'm grabbing the first shuttle out of here. I suggest you do the same, friend. Do I look like a coward to you? Now you look like a kid with fire in his eyes. The kind who gets himself killed. I'm done here. May your quarry fall before you, Hunter. Well, at least he was what are you nice. Standing around for. Back to your handler. That's Krista for you, new blood. Ah, <sighs> Steve Bloom. You're so recognizable, really easily. Actually, let me 
I keep th I keep saying that Steve Bloom is the voice actor for the bounty hunter, but I'm not actually listening. And let me let me okay. A dozen cowards just scurried out of here. Probably won't stop till Droman Kaus is light years behind him. You understand the basics, right? Three bounties, hardest targets on Droman Kaus. Got to get all three to qualify for the final melee. Enough standing around. Who are my bounties? Well, let's see who your first target is. Whoa, this can't be right. You got enemies among the Mandalorians or something? Just Taro Blood, the Mandalorian who killed Raiden. What'd he do? Wait, what? Just tell me my targets. What's the job? I wouldn't wish this bounty on anybody. Gotta play the hand you're dealt, though. The target's a Republic noble named Valtaka. He got captured during an Imperial raid, brought back here, and sold into slavery by mistake. <laughs> mistake. Why was selling him into slavery a mistake? He should have been ransomed, but Altaka wasn't properly identified when he got captured. Altaka's slave group was building a big old statue in the jungle. The slaves rebelled and took over the site. Nobody can get in there. We don't even know if he's still alive. If he is, the family will pay big. I like money. I've been looking to earn some real credits for a change. Well, now's your chance. Assuming you can never find the guy. The slaves got themselves a tent camp near that statue they never finished. If Altaka's still kicking, he's probably somewhere in there. Before you go, meet your new best friend. The S-86K full gauge carbonite armor upgrade. You can't shoot a fella with this while he's springing around. It's too slow to charge up. But once that fella ain't resisting, say, after a good long beating, the S-86K will freeze him for transport. Ooh, so it's a freezing ray. Oh, didn't know they made devices to freeze people. Carbonite ain't so much freezing as it is. Well, I ain't got a clue, really. <laughs> Just have fun. You find that Republic noble fella and claim that first bounty, then hurry it on back here as fast as you can. Aye, right, you got it. What? How j when did I lose one affection with you? Stop being so finicky. You accept a whole lot of other shit. Like, I like money. Do I get money? She'll accept that. But, what did I lose? I don't even know anymore. Whatever. Hi. Forgot to get these. Uh, high velocity gas cylinder sweeping blasters. While active, armor penetration is increased by 35%. That's cool. But I like my friggin' fire damage. Huh. Eh, yeah, we'll buy it anyways. Just to have it out of the way. Okay, we need to move that one. It's too close to us. Do I have my... There we go. Get my buff back on. Mm-hmm. That's a really good buff, by the way. Come on, endurance? That actually, like, that's a straight-up affecting kind of thing. All right. Let's go get... Oh, nope, nope. Still gotta go talk to the Imperial High Command. God damn it. Fucking Sith. Hey, yeah. Gotta turn that HUD off so I can be really realistic and stuff. Hmm. Look at me run forward while walking backwards. Mm. Do do do. I wonder how many people actually like make machinima like this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, that's why. Okay. What did I just do? Oh, well, that's not so bad. All right. No, no, I don't. There's gotta be a way. There's gotta be a way to move like really slow, so you can have like a awesome panning shot or trucking shot, whatever. Just have it be cool, like ooh, oh, 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 do 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 do. Just saying, I like camera angles. All right, Sith Sanctum. Who's this tool? Lord Lacar. <laughs> I can't even get him to tell me to fuck off. What a dick. Oh, I can't wait to have a helmet. I hope... 
I hope it gives me a helmet first. Like... That's very patriotic. Do you get the feeling that we're really out of place here? That's still so cool. Anyways, what was I wasn't gonna say? Oh yeah, as an Imperial agent, and as a Sith Marauder, the first helmets I got weren't helmets. They were piece of crap mouth pleat pieces. And that looks stupid. I mean, I don't think it will look so bad on my guy, which is which is a plus, because I don't like have a giant beard like I did on my Sith Marauder. But uh I just I just like a full helmet. I, I want one. So, so um guy. Lord Crass, I was hired to deliver these reports from Lieutenant Malloway. Fascinating. You were the bounty hunter who was involved in the capturing of the Brental Star, were you not? Yes. Tell me, what were your impressions of the Republic forces you fought? Um... Tough guys, good weapons. Their troopers are getting some solid kits. Lots of recent hardware and advanced armor. Fascinating. Which means they are preparing for war, despite what their politicians say. I thank you for your insight in these reports. If you'll excuse me, I must study them before giving the Minister of War his marching orders. Okay. All right. So is this is this better? It is. Sweet. And the fact they didn't show anything for uh, Mako means she doesn't even have bracers. Oh, she can't even put them on because it's heavy armor. Ah, <sighs> Mako, 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 Mako. Why don't you go do a mission? You're making me feel bad. Sure thing. All right. Awesome. So what do I have? I have to get the four Sith people. I don't know where they're going to be, but I'm sure they will be on the map for me to find. And we're going to hide the PvP mission because we're not going to do that. Possibly ever. Because I'm just not interested in PvP in any kind of regard. Just, eh. Can I get a zoom out over here? There we go. Oh! Okay. So they are in the city. They're just like walking around. This will be easy. Let me get my... Um... Mission item to scan them with. Destination? Enjoy your stay. Hehe. <laughs> I still have a gripe how we never use this secondary fucking seat in these taxis. But, oh well. It's a little late for that. Oh, that reminds me. Let me look at my... Do I have the Q thing up? I do. See? It's it's zero. So, meh. Allows hotkey usage for secondary targets. I wonder what that is. I remember someone in the beta was like, OMG! They have focus targets! That's so cool! And I don't know what the hell that is. Okay, time to find a Sith Acolyte. Ah. Hello. I really don't know what they expect of me. I really don't know what they expect of me. Well, you're an Acolyte. You're actually an apprentice. Fuck you, get scanned. This is not a Sith Acolyte. Oh. Okay, fine. I really don't know what they expect of me. Maybe he'll be someone I talk to later? I don't know. What is this person? Here, here's a guy. Scan. All right. I wonder if he'll know. How does no one notice that? Holy crap! That was, that wasn't subtle in the least. Come on, acolyte. Yes. Hold on. Pew. I'm, like, shooting him in the butt. I'm not even reacting. What was that? Heard an explosion. Right, okay. Go back on another mission. Lockboxes. Sure thing. Sure thing. Alright, Sith Acolyte, Sith Acolyte, Sith Acolyte. Basically anyone chilling out with, like, a stick is a, uh, Sith Acolyte. Ooh. Come on, none of these guys are... Huh. Hello. What's going on here? here today because we have had enough. The 
The Republic seeks to eliminate us. They want to bomb the hallowed walls of Karth City to cinders. But we won't let them. No, we won't. No military is superior. No fleet more powerful. No spy network more pervasive than ours. Drummond Karth is the heart of the Empire. We are its fist. Together we will choke the life from the Republic. Long live the Empire. Yeah. Yeah, let's aggressively move our hands around and stuff. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, ah. Ooh. Her. I'm emulating their movements. Okay, Sith Troopers. I'm gonna drop from the sky and be like, hey, sup. If I can fucking find someone. Damn it, where are these acolytes? Aha! Ah, 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 Ares, there's one. Oh, 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 that was close. Alright, good sir. You have just been tapped. Get that shit out of here. Sith Trooper, or not Sith Trooper. Uh, wait, yeah, Sith Trooper. What the fuck am I talking about? Or rather, Drummond Kosh Trooper. These guys look cool. Robot. How do I walk? Here's here's the slow panning stuff. Yeah. You know one thing I could never do though? Like some people can are able to like move their mouse around in a slow manner and like provide cool panning shots that are actually like this instead of just moving along. And that's kinda cool. They Except I don't know if I can do like okay, let me try this. One, two, three. Whoa. I'm turning down the sensitivity on my mouse. Okay, I guess I can't turn it down all that much. Oh well. Hi, Mako. I was totally not just fucking around. Oh, that's so awesome, though. It's... Come on, really? Like, that, that, that just, just that just looks badass. There's nothing you can do about that. And once I have a helmet, too, one of these days, I'm gonna, like, gather, like, 20, 50 people, and we're just gonna walk like this. Down a street, just like a random fucking street in the middle of the game. We're gonna be full, we're gonna be level fifties, and we're gonna be fucking fearsome, and we're gonna help to run into like one random. Imagine just being like a random level twenty-three Republic guy, and you're just chilling out on uh on like Narshada or something, and all of a sudden there's just fifty guys. They're walking at you. They're not even running. They're just walking. And you're, you're just standing there going, oh my god, oh Jesus. And you start to run, and you expect them to chase you, but no, they just continue to walk. You're like, dun, 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 I think walking slowly is just the, uh, is the universal sign of don't give a fuckery. Just like, whoof. I am the, the, uh, visual image of badassness. And fuck you. And here's her walking next to me. Of course, you can't just, like, just normally walking. No, it, that's not so badass. You have to have your weapon out like this. Because otherwise you just look like Vet, or not Vet, Mako, who's just casually walking like, Oh, just having a good day, walking in drone and cars, getting money and fucking bitches, look at me, I'm gone, ha ha. It just, no. Greetings. Good sir. Oh, what? People were talking in here? Whoops. Alright. They're, they're, they're not even talking about anything I'm going to be doing. Alright. 
I'm glad the trip over there is free. Otherwise, I'd have some complaints. Also, bitch, go do another lockbox mission. I'll be done in no time. Oh yeah, the last two just gave me it's a new, a uh, very good sum of money. My clients already ambushed one of the acolytes you tagged. Wish I could have been there. Attacking Sith is a major crime, even for other Sith. I sent the authorities an anonymous tip to watch the acolytes closely. When my clients jumped the ones you tagged, they were arrested and executed. Best work I've done in a long time. I wouldn't make a habit of killing your bosses if I was you. From now on, I'll be a lot choosier about my clients. My loudmouth friend ought to shut up, now that the killers have been caught. That should make life easier. Here, take these credits. Couldn't have pulled this off without you. See you around, friend. Bye, Ren again. I'm glad we could have a favorable outcome. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, she can't wear heavy armor. Fuck her. All right. Destination? Destination. Um... The only place I can currently go? Ooh, that reminds me. I need to go go ahead and grab the, uh, the, air, the, um, what am I trying to, what's the word I'm looking for? Another speed transport service person. There's one over here on the side by the Dark Temple. Thank God it actually had a name. So we're going to go to the Dark Temple approach and there is, um, we're just going to do this preemptively. So that when we do get the missions over there, we can just travel straight there from the Bounty Hunter Enclave. Which would be nice. Let me adjust this pop filter. There we go. Knocked it out a little bit. You might have heard me hit the mic. My bad, yo. Speaking of mic, there's still some people who are like, Whoa, Gom, you sound different. Yes, I do. It's because I got a new mic. Blue Yeti mic. It's on my channel description page. It's pretty nice. Um... All I have to do now, for, I have the boom arm, um, which is pretty cool. All I have to do now for it is to get a shock mount, which will be like a little, like a little, like a little, oh, well, it's just a straight up mount. Um, I can put the mic on it and I can adjust it in a lot of different ways and it'll be pretty cool because then I can truly put the mic in a lot more favorable positions. Uh, currently it's directly in front of me, which is nice. Um... But when I need to do stuff like recording on the Xbox or something, I'm definitely going to need it to be able to uh, turn around in different directions. So, yeah, it's a nice mic. High quality, hopefully. The only problem other than the mount is my room isn't very acoustically sound. Some of you might be able to hear, like, an echo thing. I don't know, like, how pronounced it is. It shouldn't be, like, really big. Um because the mic should only be picking up sounds from the front and not from the back so any echoes like from it's, it bounces from the wall in the back to the wall in, behind me back into the front that that's the kind of echo so yeah and then the only uh, and then like it can pick up stuff like my cousin opening up doors or someone driving a car down the street which is Problematic, but it's not a, it's not an issue. Whatever, I don't care. All right, so let's talk to this guy. Even though I'm not gonna do his mission for a while. Damn it! This would never have happened on my watch. No offense, Hunter, but we were better off before the war, when we were still closed to the rest of the galaxy. First, it's slave rebellions in the jungle. Then this. We wouldn't have allowed these kinds of things thirty years ago. Explain. What's the problem, officer? I was sent to this construction site to investigate unusual behavior among the droids. I wasn't here long when one of the units attacked me. I barely escaped with my life. But worse than that, I found this transmitter on the droid. That doesn't sound good. Two. Do you think the droids were being controlled by someone? Yes. And I believe they're sending signals back as well. I warned my superiors what would happen if they continued to be lax about this planet's security. Someone... An independent interest, a rogue Sith Lord, is using these droids to broadcast Car City's schematics to an off-planet location. Right, well, just give me the mission and I'll do it. 
You want me to blow up some droids or what? We need to get those transmitters. If we can remove enough of them from the droids, it'll make the data they're sending unintelligible. The sooner we get those transmitters out, the better. This information can't end up in the hands of our enemies. All right. So let's go ahead and pick up this mission, or not mission, um, bind point and speeder bike thingy. That's Bam. Oh, it'd be so nice if I could travel from here to there, but I have it's to walk okay. all the way. Oh well. We're only actually, we're actually really close to getting sprint, since getting sprint is level 14 and we're level 12. And now that we've got, now that we've spent an hour collecting missions, we should be getting back into just like completing a bunch of missions in bulk, which will be nice. Um, the game has its the game has its moments where it slows down a little bit as you're traversing into like cities and shit like that, but it'll speed up. We'll get sprint. We'll get a speeder bike, etc., etc., etc. I still haven't really exper experienced more than this planet, though. I've done this planet four times about now. Uh, three times completely. Or no, two times completely. And funnily enough, it was both as my Sith Marauder character. So, that's interesting. This, uh... Yeah... Repeating side quests isn't exactly the funnest of things to do, but it's bearable. I don't, I don't really mind. Ooh, you know what? I should probably unmark this because I'm not going to be able to do that for a while. But yeah, doing so, so doing some side quests, it's just kind of like blah, 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 blah stuff. But it's okay. You can still find uh, the effort to care about it. And what in the fuck is this guy doing? Hi. Oh, <laughs> you must be one of those guys. One of the brothers, the hundreds of brothers that are fucking stupid. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. I messed up. <laughs> Whoops. I accidentally grabbed the uh, window and extended it a little bit, so I'll be right back.